Imagine, if you will, that you are an adventurer making your way through deep echoing caverns, or a space explorer investigating a distant planet, or even a child just lost in the woods. You have faced your hardships, you have failed at times, but your triumphs have given you enough resolve to carry on. Surely you can handle whatever the road holds for you. But what will happen when your feet get stuck to the ground? How will you react to the cacophonous chorus of coarse chitter surrounding you? What will you do when you see the spider? Now, spiders are not confined to just dying trees and haunted graveyards. You can find them in all sorts of places, from a city, to a home, to even the open world. No matter where you find them, they can still give you a pause, a half-second of breathlessness, a fleeting moment of fear. So, how do games do it? How do they make us feel fear for spiders? Visuals certainly help. It does not matter whether it's a movie, a photo, or even a fight encounter. Seeing a spider can be very jarring. There is always something unnatural about seeing a creature with eight jointed appendages climbing down a wall or suspended effortlessly by an ethereal thread. Even their texture can evoke questions of uncertainty. Are spiders always this hairy? I don't remember spiders being this sickeningly smooth and... Why does this one have rough chitin? And the eyes. Oh, we have such a fascination with their eyes, don't we? There can be many and alien. Almost impossible to glean any motive besides threat. Or even singular and directed, transfixed on meeting your gaze. Video games know what traits to focus on to maximize the uncomfortable presence of a spider. Visuals are not the only thing to consider when we measure the fear for spiders. You can almost describe the visuals as a passive fear, something that can just happen. But what about an active fear? How can arachnids evoke fear through gameplay? Well, that is somewhat of a difficult question to answer, as each game handles them differently. Though we can look at them in broad strokes. Interacting with spiders in games, especially in combat, forces you to change your playstyle. Normally, when you face a foe in a game, they are often within your field of view. But when your enemy can move across walls or hang from the ceiling, you're going to have to change your perspective. Even looking downwards forces you out of your comfortable and familiar viewpoint. Spiders are usually not your rank-and-file enemy you come across on your adventures. They are usually a more specialized unit. They deploy toxins and poisons to erode your defenses or to slowly kill you. They can use their brood to overwhelm you or use their webbing to constrict your movements. Confronting a spider as you would an orc or a space marine can only spell out disaster. So the next time you're in the ruins of a bygotten town or deep beneath the monastery, I want you to steal yourself. The giant spider blocking your path or the swarm barreling towards you is scary, yes. But in the end, it is just another hardship on the road.